friends and welcome to my channel new and returning subscribers it's margie from the budget evolution where we have fun saving our money today we are working on our zero based budget for our last paycheck for the month of march which came out on the 21st of march today's the 22nd yes i had two come out on the same day and that does happen so we are working with our easy cash budget extended weekly planner and you can find this in the description below all right, we are going right to March. Here we are, finishing the month out. This has been a very quiet month, which has been nice. <laughs> no, no emergencies, no nothing. Parents went away on vacation. It's been very quiet, which is nice. I, I needed the quiet. So our paycheck three, which is, uh, this came also out on the 21st was 1,366.05. And then we're gonna do our buffer and we're gonna leave $6.05 in our buffer in our account. So that leaves us with $1,360 to work with. So I did pre-fill it out to make it go quickly. So this week we are paying T-Mobile, natural gas, monthly subscriptions and Capital One savings. So let me get my calculator. Okay, and that is 158, 159, 55, and 50 is $422 for our bills. And we're going to take 1360 minus 422 gives us $938. So the rest of what's left to take in our cash envelopes is household for 100, gas for my husband, and dining out um, for us. <laughs> That's $200, and we're going to take 938 minus 200 gives us $738 to go towards our sinking funds. So our sinking funds are going to be puppy. We up, this is normally $60, but that's the amount of his grooming. So we're not actually building up any money. So I figured, you know what, let me start putting $20 away. He is getting older. He is already 12 years old, and um, yeah you know, sometimes he might have to go to the vet. Okay, so we're gonna up that to $80 now a month. Date night is 20, drinks are gonna be 20. Uh, investment is 100. I still haven't decided how I'm gonna invest this money, but it'll come. Uh, J House is the rest of my daughter's uh, rental property money, so that's 200. So let's add that up. So that's 80, 20, 20, 100, and 200. So that's $420. I feel like this pen doesn't write as well because I'm trying to go on like such an angle. I don't know. 738 minus 420 gives us $318, which we are paying the other half of our extra debt. Oh, three, uh, wait a minute. Did I write? Oh, I did that wrong. See, I still make mistakes. Oh my goodness. I put that in the wrong spot. Okay, let's, let's, try this again can i ever get by without making so many mistakes <laughs> hopefully we can get through the tracker without as many mistakes as last paycheck oh my god that was a nightmare so 738 minus 420 leaves us 318 dollars so we're going to take away the 119 so we know how much money to put into challenges which is going to be 199 dollars okay so uh 199 dollars must minus the 20 for our two month ahead binder gives us 179 to go into challenges and then let's get back here so 738 minus the 420 is the 318 so hopefully i can write this without it yeah it's pretty dry okay so 318 minus the 199 should give us the 119 so 119 this is 119 and then 119 from 119 is zero. So that's how you do your zero base budget. Okay, for our final totals, we are doing 1360 for income, bills is 422, cash envelopes is 200, savings challenge, no, no sinking fund, excuse me, is 420, savings challenges is 199 and extra debt is gonna be 119. I don't know if I mentioned if you haven't been around as long, my extra debt is I had a $25,000 personal loan that we are trying to pay off 
earlier as quickly as possible hopefully right around the time my daughter graduates from uh, grad school so yeah we're trying to get that out of the way so if she decides to get married in the next few years after that we're prepared <laughs> and we don't have this debt looming over our head so 1360 minus the 422 200 420 199 and 119 gives us our zero base budget awesome oh, now let's see if we can get through this okay so this is paycheck number three on 321 2024 and i am going to write it all out hopefully it will go smoothly Okay, so I entered all of them up. Now I'm going to add all of the columns and hopefully we get to 1360. Keep your fingers crossed. <laughs> oh. oh my goodness. It was my fingers that kept messing up, but we did get to 1360, which gives us our zero base budget. So when you go to the bank, you would take your cash teller slip and all you have to do is give hand this to her and you put, you know, how many $100 bills we have seven, seven fifties is 350, 320s gives us 60, 12 tens is 120, 18 fives, I need 90, and 40 ones gives us 40, and that gives us our 1360. And that's what you hand to the teller when you take the money out. Don't be afraid to go inside the bank and go to the teller. It is so much better than going to the ATM. My ATM doesn't give us the option to pick denominations, so it's so nice to be able to go in, and you can actually talk to them and see them and, you know, you make friends with them. <laughs> so there is our budget. I'm going to go to the bank, get the money out, and then my next video is going to be our sinking funds video. So look forward to that, and I'll see you in the next one. All right. Thank you for watching. Bye, everyone.